2012, the Russian diversified company Com, known for the production of transmission units and assemblies, began work on a light track all-terrain vehicle designed for driving on difficult terrain both in summer and winter. As a result, Lucid 3918 appeared, an amphibious caterpillar weighing two tons, designed for four or five people. Lucid is the name of one of the species of pairs living in Russia. The all-terrain vehicle received it not by chance. The developers wanted their all-terrain vehicle to be as fast, agile and maneuverable as a hare. The main idea of the Rusik all-terrain vehicle was to provide residents of remote regions of the country with a simple, inexpensive, reliable and comfortable vehicle at the same time. And so the Caterpillar all-terrain vehicle Rusik appeared. This video was made during the testing of the 6th generation of this all-terrain vehicle. It is being tested near the Russian city of neighbor Izni Chelny, on the banks of the famous Kamo River. One of the main features of the tracked all-terrain vehicle Rusik is the control of an automobile type. The driver does not have levers in the hands, like many tracked vehicles, but an ordinary car steering wheel. The all-terrain vehicle is easily controlled both off-road and on ordinary paved roads. Steering, gear shifting taken from a serial Neva passenger car is done just like in familiar cars, which makes it easier for any driver to adapt to an all-terrain vehicle. The hydraulic control system developed and patented by the specialists of COM group of companies allows the Rusik all-terrain vehicle to obey the steering wheel well and clearly follow the course chosen by the driver. For several years of continuous improvement of the Rusik tracked all-terrain vehicle, instead of an awning, its body received a hard closed top, the engine was moved from the rear to the front, and the differential in the transmission was replaced with more reliable and durable clutches. The lower part of the body of the all-terrain vehicle is a so-called boat frame, which provides a high level of tightness and good buoyancy. On the first samples of the Rusik tracked all-terrain vehicle, a gasoline engine from a Lada Neva passenger car with a capacity of 80 horsepower was placed under its hood, but now it has been replaced with a more powerful engine from a Lada Granta passenger car, which develops 98 horsepower. In the future, the developers plan to put a diesel engine under the hood of the all-terrain vehicle. The first samples of the all-terrain vehicle were equipped with single-layer rubber cord tracks from a conventional snowmobile but they had insufficient strength and resource for such a machine. Then the original two-layer caterpillar was developed with a resource increased at least 10 times. What is also important, it has significantly increased tensile strength. Access to the cabin and to the first and second rows of seats is provided by upward opening gull wing doors, one such door on each side of the body. The maximum speed of the all-terrain vehicle is about 65 km per hour. The power reserve when driving on snow reaches 300 km. The front seats of the Rusa 3918 were borrowed from the Lada Neva car, and the rear seats were original, made by the specialists of the Com company. Three people can comfortably fit on them. Despite the apparent external compactness of the all-terrain vehicle, its interior turned out to be surprisingly spacious. It is not cramped here even for five people. Behind the seats is the luggage compartment. It is not too big, but can fit a few suitcases or travel bags. The next generation of the all-terrain vehicle will have it larger, because the body will be made a quarter meter longer. I will talk about these modernized all-terrain vehicles in one of the following videos. The suspension of the track rollers is made independent. Shock absorbers from a passenger car are inserted inside the springs. If now the Rusik 3918 moves through the water due to the rotation of the tracks, then its next generation will be equipped with a water cannon to increase its speed. In terms of its qualities, Rusik 3918 is, in fact, a passenger car on tracks, but adjusted for difficult operating conditions. It can be used at any time of the year, in any weather and on any terrain, even impassable for ordinary vehicles of increased patency. Over the past few years, COM has developed several more models of tracked and wheeled all-terrain vehicles. I have already talked about one of these all-terrain vehicles, and I will prepare videos about others in the near future.